The so-called don't say gay bill is now headed to the governor's desk. Yeah, after two days of fierce debate, the state did it today giving a final vote this morning. Capitol reporter Forrest Saunders has been closely monitoring this legislation. He joins us now with what happens next, Forrest. Well, Paul, I can tell you this, uh, this really wasn't surprising what we saw uh, in terms of a final vote today. The GOP majority has been backing this policy at each of its previous stops, and that's despite weeks of outcry from opponents who now say their fight is ongoing. Days of protests at the Capitol replaced by frustration Tuesday. You should be ashamed of yourself. Bill opponents like Alex Stanwood, a trans high schooler, leaving the Senate dismayed. You see those statistics of trans kids with suicide rates? Well, I'm that statistic. I have attempted, and you guys are not helping. HB 1557 now headed to DeSantis after that final vote. 22 yeas, 17 nays, Mr. President. And if signed under threat of lawsuit, it bans instruction of sexual orientation or gender identity in K-3 through classrooms. Parents, of course, are very anxious about what all their kids are being exposed to, who all they're being influenced by. Senator Dennis Baxley sponsoring the bill, continuing to stress his aim of putting parents in charge of students' education, records, and well-being. Somebody has to be in charge, and uh, they shouldn't lose that right when they get to the classroom door. But pushback has been fierce from the get-go. We are a normal and healthy part of every society and school. The LGBTQ community and Democrats call the measure bigoted and dangerous. A total of nine Republicans also breaking with their party to vote against it on House and Senate floor. I believe that as soon as we sign it down, we'll be challenged. Like, I'm no attorney, and I know it will be challenged. And opponents say a legal challenge is next. If DeSantis does put pen to paper, they're urging he refrain. We hope that the governor will do the right thing and avoid that outcome and the costly litigation that will face the state. But we'll see what happens next. Now, the governor has already voiced support for this measure. We're going to have to see if he follows through with his signature. What we do know is that once he receives the bill, he will have seven days to make a decision. Paul? Yeah, you know, Forrest, this thing passed by a five-vote margin in the Senate right down the line with parties, so no surprise there. But two Republicans actually did vote against this. Uh, what does that say? Well, I think for opponents, it says that they are justified in their belief that uh, this is a very divisive bill and that uh, it is going to split that party uh, as we move into the next election cycle. Obviously, the elections are coming up in November, and what we heard from opponents is that they will be holding Republicans accountable uh, after advancing this policy. Yeah, this will come back up for sure for Saunders live in Tallahassee.